How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. If you remember at Sun and Fun, we covered the Velocity XL. Today, I've got the twin engine. Stay tuned, we're gonna check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Velocity Twin, highly, highly requested and I'm really excited to show this plane to you guys today. Now, if you recall, as I said, just a few months back at Sun and Fun, we checked this model out, which is the single engine velocity. This is the Excel model. And I believe the particular one we checked out is the one behind it, which has the turbo in the engine. And some interesting fact about this twin engine compared to that that I'll talk about in a little bit. But if you're familiar with uh, Velocity Aircraft, it's a canard design which means you practically have two sets of wings. So you've got one on the nose and then you've got your main wing here. Another interesting fact about Velocity Aircraft is that you have no flaps. No kidding, guys. This is the design of the wing. Okay, you can see it right here. You've got a nice winglet, but there are no flaps. So you have one control surface here and the engine sits right on the wing this time now in the single engine version the engine will sit behind it right here now given that this is a pusher motor so you still have the engine or the propeller right here in the back and we'll talk also about the actual engine in this airplane beautiful custom modified and it gives you all the power you could possibly need to go fast uh, personally, I've always, always been interested in Velocity because it's just a different design. You don't see planes like this often and even other experimentals that you see out there, it's all similar, similar shape and design. This is one of the few that is like this. And I'm putting the camera here so you see also because this is a retractable landing gear. So those gears come up when you're ready to take off. Here goes the second engine and let's just go around it don't mind the people here we are at an air show or an air show so there's a lot of people but guys i'm gonna go through the numbers in a little bit i just wanted to show you such a cool design i i think of this thing and it, it looks like a spaceship man i love just this look at this nice window cut here and so whoever's sitting in the back they get a nice view and also one other cool feature well i'm in here do you see that See that opening there? So when you're in flight, your passengers can also see below. And I think that's, that's really cool. And then you've also got your engine gauge right there. Not engine gauge, your fuel gauge right there. But let me back up a little bit. So this is the interior of the Velocity. Guys, this plane has one of the largest, by largest, I mean widest cabin in its class, period. It's a nice four seater and it's a true four-seater. And you see here, fully loaded. You've got the dual G3X Touch. That's a GTN 750, or could be another G3X, uh, but I doubt it. Um, and then you've got your other radio comms here. You've got your autopilot. It is a constant speed prop, and it is using, I would say, old tech engine. So you've got multiple levers, power, prop, and mixture and given that you have two engines you can see that you have two of each so basically you have six levers here one prop lever two prop lever one mixture one mixture so that's for both of your engines and given that you've already seen the excel if you haven't make sure you check it out that's the link up top there or look in the description below the comfort level, I would say exactly the same. There's nothing different about the cabin of this plane and the single engine plane. It's similar cabin, similar fuselage. Uh, as a builder, you will have the option to, you know, do any type of customization you want. And there's quite a bit in this plane. Okay, so you can see it's pretty decked out. All soft uh, touches here. And also, if you look back there, you've got an oxygen system. So this is not a pressurized cabin, but it was built with the mountain high oxygen, which is the same portable oxygen that I have, except instead of this being portable, it's built into the plane, which is usually the best way to go. And I wish I did that, but I did mine after the fact. Another cool feature about this plane, you see how just the shape of the entryway, 
So ergonomically, it's it's pretty beautiful. But to get in, even if you're on the taller or the shorter side, you basically scoot in backwards. That's how I would get into this thing. Just put your butt in and scoot in. And if I go around it here, and I'll talk some more numbers with y'all, and you see the nice galling door, just boom, open up. So you look at this front wing here, you see it's got some of this. I don't like to get technical on the video, so I'll, I'll leave more of the description of what these does in the description. So make sure you, you, you check it out. But nice landing gear here, you got your nose wheel. And you come up here, let's get back to that engine so I can give you some actual real world numbers. So you've got two, okay? Each engine, 180 horsepower, and this is basically a replica of the Lycoming 360 that you see in a ton of airplanes that are flying today, okay? And each engine has 180 horsepower. This is a modified Lycoming 360. And get this, price for this engine, $40,000 a piece. That turbo that we checked out, the Excel, <laughs> One engine, a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. So for this plane, you're practically building a twin engine for almost the same price as you would the Excel. So real world numbers, performance, you're cruising at 200 knots, easy in this aircraft, and you're burning about 20 gallons, 16 to 20 gallons, depending on your altitude and power setting uh, per hour. And let me go here actually, so you can see some of the features. So you can see here, you've got electric air conditioning suite, dual electric heater. You've got the mountain high oxygen here. Uh, I mentioned the, the Garmin panel, and this is the engine that it's flying, that's flying this thing. So XP360, it's basically built off of the Lycoming IO360, uh, and it's a beautiful engine. Now, your max altitude well actually let's not talk max out altitude uh, from what i've been told the best uh, altitude to fly this plane is about 12,500. so 12,500 feet you're cruising nice at 180 to 200 knots and then when you think about the useful load this is a true four-seater guys you can take four people so you've got 100 gallons that's the fuel capacity and like i said you're burning 16 to 20 an hour you can do the math for that but also your useful load is 1,700 pounds, 1,700. And once you fill up the tank, you still got 1,100 pounds left. What that means is you can actually take four people, four people and go places. Uh, depend on how, how nicely you put that power setting back or forward. So it, it is a true cross country bird. And like I said, you have a very lush cabin and a very nice uh, width cabin that you can take people on. Now, let's talk about the price. This is not a cheap airplane, uh, but I do think for the value you're getting and the class that you're in, a brand new twin, you're looking at 450, $450,000 for a fully built airplane. And you have to get the kit, obviously, and build one, uh, but you'd have to contact Velocity for that. So $450,000 for this plane fully built. The turbo single engine won't cost you about 400 which is pretty much fifty thousand uh, dollars behind uh, i would say this is a better value in my own opinion but anyway to each his own but this is the velocity twin it's been highly highly requested that i do a video on this and i'm happy to give you one today i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up if this is your first time be sure to subscribe to the channel Again, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for watching. A great way to support, guys. Consider becoming a premium member. Also, you can go to mojogrip.net forward slash MVP and sign up there. I appreciate the support, guys, and I will catch you on the next video.